StoreLogix Cloud is a web-based version of StoreLogix Desktop. The only difference is, as long as you have an internet-connected computer, there is no restriction on where you can access the software. You can log into StoreLogix Cloud with any browser by typing in the address given to you by the PTI Tech at the time of installation. In the login box, type your username, then your password. Finally, press the login button. If this is your first time logging into StoreLogix, it directs you to the end user license agreement. Scroll through the agreement until you reach the bottom. When you reach the bottom, accept the agreement by checking the box, then clicking on the submit button. After successfully logging in, you'll be redirected to the home page. After successfully logging in, you will see the homepage for StoreLogix Cloud. Throughout the rest of this walkthrough, I will show you a couple of valuable components of the product, starting with the flyout menu. To access the menu, click the three bar icon in the upper left hand corner of the screen. The menu slides in from the left and in it, you can access any feature StoreLogix Cloud offers. Next is the StoreLogix button. Click here if you start exploring or using StoreLogix and want to return back to the home screen. Moving on, we have the Falcon XT or Cloud Controller Connection status icon. When the icon displays a green dot, there is communication between the site hardware and the StoreLogix Cloud server. The controller is disconnected from the StoreLogix Cloud server when you see a red dot. Next, we have the People on Site icon, which gives you a current number of tenants accessing the site. StoreLogix Cloud shows how many tenants are on site by displaying the number in a white dot above the site icon. When you click the on site icon, a menu appears, giving you two options. View all takes you to the users list and filters it to only show the tenants that are on site at that time. Clear all removes all on site tenants off site. Clicking this button is the same as if all your on-site tenants went to the exit keypad and left simultaneously. If you use this option, all your door alarms or door boss will rearm. After the people on site button is the favorites button. Use this to save a section or tab of StoreLogix Cloud that you frequently visit. You can rename the favorite using the edit button, or you can delete a favorite if you're no longer using it. Next is the Help button. I cover most aspects of StoreLogix Cloud, but click this icon if you want to read through the user manual or get more information on our website. Next is the Alarm icon. This icon gives you an account of all active alarms at the site at a given time. The number above the icon is the alarm count, and if you click on the icon, you are directed to the Alarms log to view all active alarms. Next, we have the login icon. The first thing you notice is the login icon shows you the person's name logged into StoreLogix Cloud. When you click the login icon, it presents you with the sign up button, which will allow you to sign up. In addition, the drop down allows you to change the language or color mode of the site. Next, I will briefly show you a few sections of StoreLogix Cloud and then a couple useful tools. When you open the flyout menu, you have access to many different sections. We will cover the tools section shortly. But in general, your users and units tab allows you to view users and what units they are assigned to. Your operations tab allows you to adjust company information, site schedules, add operators, etc. Your setup tab is typically only used by PTI tech support and installers when they are setting up your equipment and or troubleshooting if needed. There are also a few tabs specific to unit security products, such as ProEdge, Helox, DoorBoss, and our tenant-facing mobile app, StoreID. Finally, two tools that are very useful in StoreLogix Cloud are the Access Ways tab and the Event Log tab. To access the Event Log, you'll open the Flyout menu as I have open, select tools, and then the event log. This tab allows you to monitor all activity at your site in a variety of ways. The top left drop-down menu 
allows you to select from different categories of events, including operational events, all events, or even just events related to a specific equipment, like your controller. The next couple entry boxes allow you to filter your search by date and time range, and even specify keywords and specify between events, units, names, and devices to dial in your search and get the information you need. Another useful tool is the Access Ways tab, which is by default shown on the dashboard on the home screen. As you can see, when I scroll down, I have my Access Ways available to me. Using this section of StoreLogix Cloud allows you to control your gates. If I were to select this entry device one, I could either open, hold open, hold closed, or release this access point, giving you full control of all your access points from any PC that you can log into StoreLogix Cloud with. This concludes the StoreLogix Cloud basics tutorial. Please visit ptisecurity.com for more information.